by one like no other. And today's celebration is one we will cherish for a lifetime. As principal of G. Ray Bobby High School, I am honored to lead you today in this most dignified and joyous occasion. With a great sense of pride, I ask that everyone please stand to receive the class of 2021. <laughs>
recognize and thank those joining us on stage. Board of Education member, Mr. David Cordon. Board member, Mr. Tim Crandall. Board member, Mrs. Lynn Lyons. Superintendent Paulino. Executive Director of Instruction and Achievement, Mr. Dan Carroll. Assistant Principal, Ms. Stevenson. Assistant Principal, Mrs. Richards. Fulton Mayor, Mrs. Dina Michaels. Former Board of Education member, Mr. Dan Powowitz. Mrs. Susan Ryan, Commencement Speaker. And Student Commencement Speakers, Emma Weaver and Samantha McCray. There are other school district personnel here in our audience, as well as city and town officials. We thank all of you for taking the time to share this special day with our graduating seniors. Good morning, graduates. Today is your day to celebrate. Congratulations, you made it. 13 years ago, you started your educational journey. And 31 years ago, I started my journey as an educator at G.R. Bodley High School. I recall many times as a young teacher when I felt overwhelmed, unsure of myself, and thinking things like, oh no, they didn't teach me what to do in this situation. One example that comes to mind happened on my very first day of class. When a student came into the room, put her feet up on the desk, and declared, I need a cigarette. I made my first split-second decision of millions that I had to make as a teacher and replied, Whoop, so do I. <laughs> Graduates, surely you had moments in your school years when you were afraid, confused, and had thoughts such as like, I'm scared to get on that big yellow bus alone, or I don't know if I can memorize these multiplication tables. Message had to be different. 
on this day, June 19, 2021, I am speaking to a graduating class of survivors. Let's give high fives right now, socially distanced air vibes, of course, because you made it. Come on, give me high fives. Give each other high fives. This is a celebration. Thank you. You have just survived one of the most difficult years in recent history. I am proud of each of you graduates. You persevered through very difficult times, frequent changes, and fear of the unknown. You became many years of online learning. Sharing quotes that are filled with words of wisdom about the future didn't feel right to me today. Instead, I reflected on all the things that we have to be grateful for in this past year. And I decided to narrow my list to five gratitudes and call it my high five list. In the days ahead, take time to make your own high five list as you close this chapter of your life and begin a new one. You might be surprised at what you learned from making your list. My high five list does not contain a single thing, as in things that arrived during daily Amazon deliveries during the COVID shutdown. I stand before you today with gratitude for the following five. One, my health. In the past year, we've been reminded that this is something we can never take for granted. Two, my husband, who is my best friend, strongest supporter. Three, my children and grandchildren, whom I look forward to spending my retirement with. Number four, all of my students, each and every one, and I've had many, class time with the students has always been the very best part of my day. Number five, finally, I have loved being a teacher, and I have loved Fulton and G. Ray Bobby. A career I loved and a place I loved. Now that's something to be grateful for. I want to extend my appreciation to our Board of Education, both current and past, our administration, all of my colleagues who are my friends, and especially to all of the families who make up the Fulton community. Thank you for sharing your children with, with us and with me, and for trusting us with their safety and their education. They are our future and our hope. Class of 2021, as this chapter ends, a new one is going to begin. This year has taught us so much. Perhaps most importantly, and most simply, when people ask you, what do you want to be when you grow up after you graduate? I hope you will respond, I want to be kind. Thank you, Mrs. Ryan. I take this opportunity to congratulate Mrs. Ryan on her retirement and thank her for her 31 years of service to our students and families. You have made a difference in thousands of lives. Thank you, Mrs. Ryan.
today we are all here sharing a memory that will last a lifetime. A lifetime that has already included countless memorable moments. Although we are told not to live in the past, it would be impossible to enjoy this day without remembering where we have come from to reach this moment. Exams and 
other stressful things have. But life is going to keep moving, whether you want it to or not. And instead of losing yourself in the past and fearing for the future, like so many of us are right now, be present in your daily lives. Even if it's only for a moment each day, you will always be able to find at least one thing to be thankful for. And part of that comes from being active in your life and in those around you. Make sure you're spending time with your families, friends, teachers, and of course your pets. This is where memories will be made and you will be grateful for the time you spent together. Finally, I would like to share a quote with all of you that I read last year. I came across this quote when I was trying to find something to write on my chalkboard in my bedroom that was motivating. It says, do something today that your future self will thank you for. This quote spoke to me because at the time I was very stressed out, just like I'm sure many of you were or currently are. This quote by Dr. Sean Patrick Clemary is about living our lives with a growth mindset as we consider each day as an opportunity to become a better version of ourselves than we were the day before. It means that you're accepting all of your victories, whether they are big or small. The victories could be that you got out of bed into the shower, or you attended your classes, joined a new club, or simply just drank more water. Some days are tough, and life is going to throw many challenges at you, especially in the coming years. But no matter how hard or what happens each day, make sure you take a second to do at least one thing for yourself and for others. And like I said, it does not matter how big or small that thing is, as long as it's pushing you in the right direction and keeping you moving towards your goals. As we embark on this new adventure with a new blank slate today, remember, that every morning will welcome a new day and offer new chances to achieve our goals and our dreams. We would now like to thank all of our teachers, families, and friends for always pushing us academically and helping us navigate the history. We would now like to prove their say that we will, and it will always be on the Before I say my final thank yous, I would like to dedicate my portion of the speech today to a person who is very influential and monumental in my life. young scholars. 
I take this opportunity to recognize you for your dedication toward rigorous study. At this time, I would like to recognize those students who throughout high school have enrolled in high-level rigorous courses of study, as well as specialized programs. Graduates. Would any student who participated in an advanced placement course please stand?
Mrs. Parkers, Mr. Polkino, friends and families, it is our honor to present to you our G. Ray Bodley class of 2021. First up, Dominic Abbott. Dominic will be attending Illinois College for Finance and Business Analytics. Dominic is the recipient of the Brian Dodge Memorial Scholarship and the Seamus D. Hegarty Memorial Scholarship. Kaylee Allen. Kaylee will be attending SUNY Oswego for Childhood Education. Jonathan Bell. Jonathan will be entering the workforce. Anthony Bennett. Caitlin Babakwa. Caitlin will be attending the Continental Beauty School in Syracuse for cosmetology. Phoebe Blair. Phoebe will be entering the workforce. Crystal Bolin. Crystal will be entering the workforce. Jada Borrow. Jada will be entering the workforce. Okay. Haley Brillier. Haley will be attending Finger Lakes Community College for psychology. Sydney Bradshaw. Sydney will be attending Sydney Swingo for political science. Sydney is also the recipient of the Fulton Music Booster Scholarship Award for Orchestra. Jack Broderick. Jack will be attending Nazareth College to study history with adolescent education. Jack is the recipient of the Fulton Rotary Foundation Scholarship, the Fulton Teachers Association Scholarship, as well as the Officer Robert J. Parker's Memorial Scholarship. Julia Brown. Julia will be attending City Portland to study early childhood education. Trinity Brownring. Brandon Birch. Brandon will be entering the automotive tech field. Quinn Burlingham. Quinn will be attending Ursinus University to study health and exercise physiology. Quinn is also the recipient of the Dale Tones Baseball Award. <laughs> Olivia Bush. Olivia will be attending Onondaga Community College to study nursing. Olivia is the recipient of the Women's Club of Fulton Scholarship, as well as the Danielle Ray Kunzweiler Justina Memorial Award. Brandy Carr. Brandy will be entering the United States Navy for Cryptology Technician. Brandy is also the recipient of the James Gilberto Giannis Excellence in Science Award. Bryce Carroll. Bryce will be attending SUNY Portland for sports management. Bryce is the recipient of the Central New York Community Foundation Pool Scholarship and the Joe Fistic Memorial Scholarship from the Fulton Elks Lodge 830. Corinne Clark. Corinne will be attending Diego Community College. Sana Gewas Planar will be attending Niagara University to study nursing. Anastasia Colton Warden will be attending Jacksonville University to study medicine. Yeah. 
David Cordell Jr. David will be attending Niagara University to study chemistry. David is a recipient of the Deanne Neal Memorial Scholarship for Achievement in Concert Band. Lori Dano. Lori will be entering the collision field for automotive. Lori! Ben DeMars. Ben will be entering the United States Army for Signals Intelligence Analytics. Ben is a recipient of the Fulton Savings Bank Excellence and Accounting Award. Donovan Duell. Donovan will be attending Clarkson University for Mechanical Engineering. Zachary Eggleton. Zachary will be attending the Rochester Institute of Technology for Applied Statistics and Actuarial Sciences. Woo! My brother! Michael Ellis. Michael will be entering the workforce. Naya Evans. Naya will be attending SUNY Oswego for Psychology.
Samuel Thompson. Sam will be attending Oswego State for software engineering. Mackenzie Trenier. Mackenzie will be attending Barry College in Georgia to study nursing. Cyrus True. Cyrus will be attending Morristown State College. Ashlyn Elizabeth, Elizabeth Wallace wishes to be a digital media or graphic arts designer. Michaela Weber. Brenna Wells. Brenna will be attending Cayuga Community College to study nursing. Brenna is the recipient of the Cayuga Community College Presidential Scholarship, the Fulton Savings Bank Highest Rank Scholarship, as well as the Fulton Sunrise Rotary Club Scholarship and the Kiwanis Memorial Award in memory of deceased members. Colin Wells. Woo! Colin will be entering the workforce as a welder. Logan Wilson. Go Logan! Logan will be continuing with Onondaga Community College in the PTAC program. Everett Wood. Everett will be attending Hugo Community College. Happy birthday to Alina Wright, who will be attending SUNY Fredonia to study communication disorders and science. Rounding out our graduating class is Samantha McRae, who will be attending the University of Buffalo to study pharmacy. Samantha is the recipient of the Children's Board of Oswego, New York Incorporated Award, the Fulton Lions Club Harold H. and Mary Dow Memorial Scholarship Award, the Fulton Savings Bank Excellence in World Language Award, the William and Catherine Johnston Best and Children Memorial Award, as well as the New York State Scholarship for Academic Excellence Award, the Ellen Van Osdale Memorial Award, the Women's Club of Fulton Scholarship, and the Zonta Club of Oswego. who will be attending the University at Albany to study biochemistry. Emma is the recipient of the American Red Cross High School Challenge Award, the Joseph M. Campolino Award, the Central New York Community Foundation for GRB Scholarship Class of 1953, the Police Benevolent Award, the Fulton Association Award, Fulton Savings Bank Excellence in World Language Award, the Scott Moreau Memorial Scholarship, New York State Scholarship for Academic Excellence Award, the Mr. and Mrs. Sherwood F. Sheldon Memorial Scholarship, and the Sandy and Sylvia Squire Memorial Scholarship awarded by the Fulton Noon Rotary Club. There they are, ladies and gentlemen, your 2021 Red Raider Thank you, Ms. 